Here's five tips to take your MacBook Touch Bar to a whole nother level. So we all know that you can capture your screen by pressing Command 3 and it appears right here at the bottom or by pressing Command 4 and you guys can see the various different options you have so you could select a portion of your screen but what if you want to take a screenshot of your touch bar well this is actually possible and it's natively built into Mac OS. so if I press command shift and 6 right here you guys can see that I took a screenshot of my touch bar it appears right here so it's identical to the one over here and it's just a really quick way to take a screenshot of your touch bar so for the next couple of tips, we're going to have to head over to System Preferences. So go over to Apple logo and hit System Preferences. From here, go to Keyboard. Now, you might not like the default configuration the touch bar shows. So over here, you click on Customize Control Strip. And it brings up this setting right here. So as you guys can see, I could bring my mouse down over to the touch bar and drag things out. So let's say I don't want the notification center here. I could drag that up here, it removes it. And let's say I want Siri down there. So just drag it and put it right there. Now you could also hit the little arrow right there to expand the control strip. Over here, let's say I don't want a giant space right here. Grab that, remove it. Let's add dictation for example. So you could customize it to your own need. What if you want to customize your touch bar in specific apps? Well, that's also possible. So let's head over to Safari, for example. From here, let's go to the Apple logo, Apple website. And from here, you guys can see that in my touch bar, I have the search or enter website, a widget, then a new tab, and bookmark. But, well, I could actually customize this the exact same way we customize our touch bar in general. So I have to go to view, and customize touch bar you guys can see that the layout's a bit different but it's basically the same concept so i could drag this search bar out of here and let's add a sidecar for example sidebar and let's add the web inspector as well and a tab overview press done and now you guys can see that my entire safari touch bar is different now let's say you're one of those people that hates the touch bar and prefers to have the bunch of keys back. Well we all know that's probably not gonna happen, but you could actually make the best use of the touch bar. So head over to system preferences once again and click on keyboard. From here, you guys can see that we have a couple of options. So for this one, touch bar shows app controls, you could change that to for it to show the function keys. And as you guys can see, my touch bar right now changed to function keys. You could also change that to the expanded control strip if you don't want to keep hitting the little arrow or one more option. I prefer to keep it on app control since I use that the most. And you could also change what hitting the function key right here actually does. So over here you could change it to obviously sort of function keys or expand control strip if you don't want to hit the little arrow and extract that. But you could also change it to uh, show spaces, which does that, or show quick actions, which just shows up all of your quick actions down there. For this next tip, let's exit out of system preferences. And over here, let's say you want to adjust the brightness slider. So how would you normally go about doing this? So you hit the volume widget right here and just drag it up and down. Well, there's a much faster way to do it. All you have to do is just click it and drag just in one fluid motion so I'll show it again same with the brightness slider just hit it and drag it's a much faster way to do it and a much more fluid way to do it as well now let's say you don't use the touch bar very often and you want to make better use of it but you hate the way that it currently behaves so how can you make that better well we could make it better by displaying our entire dock right into our touch bar so if you launch an open source app called pod right here you guys can see that the second I launch it, my entire dock appears in my touch bar right here. So I could scroll along it. I could open apps from it. So let's open Apple TV Plus. You guys can see it opens right here. Let's click out of that. We could also open Finder. 
and go to our various different folders. Now Pog has a wide range of preferences you could change, so let's open up that. Over here you guys can see we could hide the control strip, this little area right here. I prefer to show it since I like to have access to my volume and brightness sliders all right away. You could launch that login. Now let's go to the dock widget. From here you guys can hide finder if you don't like finder there. I like to show it though. You could make it to show running apps only. So right now Xcode, Finder and Note are running. You could also hide the trash if you don't want that there. And open Finder and Directories inside Hawk. You could have that there. If I that's unchecked, you guys can see that it just opens Finder. It doesn't show the folders I, on my touch bar like previously if I hit it right now. So in Hawk, you can actually customize things much further. So hit on the Hawk icon in the menu bar and click on Customize. So from here we could add widgets or we can take widgets out. So let's say you have the one the second drain generation touch bar with the magic keyboard and you have a uh, dedicated escape key right here. But you could actually drag the escape key in the touch bar out of here. And let's say you want to add a status widget. You could just drag that in right here. You guys can see that we have a Wi-Fi, our battery status, and the date. But you could change that all, let's, so let's hit done. Let's go to POC, preferences, and from here, you guys can see that we can go to the status widget, and we could change show date, or don't show the date, and we could change the date format, and hit the little question mark, and these are the different date formats that you can change it to. So it's really an initiative and a really great addition to your touch bar. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.